Hello and welcome to another new running cast. As always, my name is Johnny and I'm joined once again by James. Hayden James. Yeah, good. Um, so, it's getting very tense now. We have three only left. So, we have in this video on the left hand side uh, Tim Fowler playing NEH, his famed NEH, I might say. And on the right hand side, we have Rob Mendlax Thompson playing as Geist. Uh, it's quite an interesting deck as well. And these two are playing in the uh, loser bracket semi final or whatever you want to call it for the right to play Alex White in the final of the BMW finals. Um, and the prize for this, of course, is a paid-for trip to uh, Worlds. Which Resident. is a pretty big prize. Charlie. It's worth mentioning, Alex already has his ticket paid for to Worlds for winning the UK yeah, It's called Bring Another. Yeah, I know. World, Alex. So, both these, guys, the both these guys are great players. Um, doesn't matter who wins, but I hope they beat Alex, whoever they are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's also worth noting that, I, I can't remember who it was, comments, please, but someone was providing the top four with an entire subscription to the Mumbad Cycle, one of the... Uh, I think it was Doxphere. I think Doxphere. Maybe? Okay. Oh, yeah, um, I think so. There was That was the prize for making the top four. Yes, so, the, yeah, there were a few prize, prizes eh? on offer. Yeah, all the top four um, got that subscription, as well as um, BMW Mats, and I think the top eight or something, but I don't remember what deck boxes or something, maybe, I don't remember what tarts. Um, yeah, so, uh, we have um, an early, oh, interesting, we have an early setup from NEH, he um, yeah, had a sweeps and to us in his first turn, and so some remotes. Rob installs a Myrtle, yeah, so, the Rob face checked the architect, uh, and it fired to install some stuff, but he played a Myrtle to de it, very interesting, um, that's great, sapping, uh, sapping four credits, um, unlikely to go away as well. Well, he might trash it for the card if he really needs to. Only if he's incredibly desperate. It does yeah. give uh, it does give the uh, Corp a free res. Yeah, you don't... Can you res a Sansan off that? Oh, yeah. Res wow, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. And then. I've... Uh, <laughs> I've played um, I played against Geist and I, I started he stole a three point agenda I started punitively I knew I couldn't kill him because he had these on the table but yeah. the fact that he used them meant I could start rizzing curtain walls and stuff yeah. and it was really good because <laughs> he'd been de the whole time well now you could now it's useless because you can just de -res Jackson right so. yeah yes that's right so once and you know that that's a reason to res it when you install it uh, if nothing else yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't want to use it um but he does use it. Uh, he's going to continue to draw, and he's got five credits. He's going to hedge as well. There's no rig yet to speak of on the right side. Well, no rig on the right side. Um, it'd be interesting to see how. Um, he's throwing away. He might have been a little bit flooded. Jack Jackson to set up. Yeah, yeah, he will be. He's, he'd probably keep an Astro, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, he's going to use the Jackson straight away uh, because uh, they these guys played each other earlier in the day and uh, Rob played a Hades shard to steal a bunch of agendas out of Andrew Jackson. <laughs> well, so Tim, knowing his opponent, immediately uses... I don't know if they actually played or if you just heard about it, but knowing his opponent was playing Hades shard, decided to immediately use... Um, uh, there's, a, there's a discussion to be had there about knowledge of everyone's secret or maybe not so secret yeah. tech like yeah if someone does something cool against you in a tournament i, I don't think it's, it's you want to tell everyone you, yeah, you do about but it. at the same time like maybe for the sake of your opponent keep it quiet i was like playing as corpse first because my corpse tend to have the secrets and i don't like a crowd watching my corp games i've got uh, a problem with my runner games nice. but because nice I, i'm tech. always i'm always packing tricks in my corp decks so i like um to all right, Get those games out of the way. I, I like to play <laughs> my corp deck first if the other player is playing a silly slow corp deck. Oh, I see. So that way I have enough time to... Yeah. All right, score okay, the Astro. Okay, so uh, Sansa's going to score the Astro, yes. Yeah, so he's got a two-point lead and an Astro counter. And, um, he plays it with, does it with a shipment. So He does do it with a shipment. He's trying to work out if that's beneficial, but he does do it with a shipment. Um, he leaves him on three credits, so three. he can res some ice rather than yes. one credit. Yes, he can't res the Architect in R&D. That's worth mentioning. Um, <laughs> we're going to see another Muertos... Oh, Tim. That's a good one. That's a, that's that was a, a good Murtos play Murtos. right there. That's some good Murtosing. And that answers our question. What Do you trash the Sansan? -San? No. No, you just do <laughs> Murtos it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is, and this is some really impressive uh, denial. Uh, he forces the res on HQ, so Tim now has no money. Um, maybe you should have kept that shit from Sansan -San in hand, would you reckon? <laughs> um, I mean, he did allow him to res the Yeah, there, I mean, so. I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough one. And he steals uh, Astro yeah, from R&D. He's going to keep looking. See his San San. Yeah, he's Can't res it. Nice. Oh, he does I trash it. it. Wow, oh, interesting, right. yeah. But okay. not the one on the table. Because uh, he wanted to get more looks. Yeah. That makes sense. So he draws both the DBS and stores the DBS to draw because the NAH ability is bonkers. Yep. Gets more draw. Uh, and takes two credits. So he needs to kind of slightly recover. Sweet. 
probably irrelevant. Never know. Um, it's, and it's good to have knows? archives. Yeah, it's not. I mean, the only virus you might expect here is a data sucker, in which case it's good to maybe have maybe some parasites, but yeah. Um, yeah, but you might expect might expect sneak door, possibly not out of geist. Okay, so we see an eater. eater. All right. Okay, so the plan is clear. Well, now you have an AI breaker and you can siphon all day. Yes, you've got eater. You can act. You can have successful runs all you want, even if you can't access. So it's going to be the likes of uh, Crescentus as well. Uh, it's going to be the likes of uh, siphon. So, so he's going to run. And the, uh... He's going to run HQ and Drez Enigma. Yeah. Um, and Tim Reza the pad for a net loss for credit. Might regret that. He also raised a DBS for more money. Might regret that. But maybe he's looking for economy. He can hide agendas too. Yeah, I mean, he's got no money now, so it's the kind of perfect time to raise the DBS because Rob also has no money. And if, yeah, and if there's an eater um, and he can, uh, if he can find a wraparound or something, he can just put it on a remote and start scoring behind it. W maybe. Worst case so. scenario, now the pad and the DBS are rezzed, he has stuff to de res that isn't like ice if another yeah, that's true. gang member comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can run around. You still can't raise the architect. We don't see what the card was. Uh, I think there's a few of them in this game because of the way the team's Jackson holding them. Getting used here. He's Jackson to uh, clean out archives. I think he's going to put in the sweeps and some other economy, mm -hmm. probably. Yes, he does. So he's in San San. Yeah. Seems reasonable. I might put the shipment through there because if he gets siphoned to zero credits, he can then still score. That's not a bad shout. He's got the Astro like, counter. Of, that's yeah, one of the main that's... reasons to play that card was the criminal matchup. Yeah, I, do, I like, actually I like that. Yeah, like I really, I really rate that card in this kind of a game. Yeah, interesting. So he's going to R and D again for more access to see hedge funds. That's not really going to help him out much. Oh no! Oh, he's trashed the pad. In fact, maybe that's why. So Rob, Rob running very low on credits also. So he's going to think about if he keeps the hedge fund or the mystery card. Does he want what's in the box? He throws away the hedge fund. Interesting. On all this other card is. Looks like it might be a piece of ice. Tolles, I think, maybe? Was that not a Cyberdex? I don't know. He might put it outside his hand. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't look like oh, it. This is a pop up, maybe. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't tell what that is from here. I think it's his ice on top, right? Yeah. I'm Unless not he sure. mixed in. I think it's a pop up. Um, and that's reasonable. Pop -up, a hedge fund. Pop, pop up's good. Yeah. Because he can put this on. And then Mer easy, if, you've got, if you've got a res pop up, Mertos gang member doesn't he matter. He actually trashes architect <laughs> to install it. To I, save that's, a credit. A, that's a victory for Rob here. Oh, yeah, it is. He's trashing architect. That's hard to do. For, for a, yeah, and for a, for a, <laughs> for a pop up window. Yeah. Like, but perfectly so the right call by Tim here, I think. Yeah. And having a pop up res is good for Mertos as well. Yeah, no, it's excellent. Defense I mean, Although there's two on the table, yeah. so it's a bit late. That boat sailed. Yeah, that's true. He, so the two Mertos denied nine credits worth. That's, that's pretty that's, pretty effective. That's some good oh, no, it's, uh, sure. no, it's ten, wasn't it? Because it was six for. It's a Sun Sun and an architect. So yeah, good good play by Rob. Yeah. Okay. Um, we haven't seen any dangerous. Uh, so he's going to run. So the Enigma is back. Yeah, he ran HQ on click four just to force him yeah. to raise. I mean, he well, didn't it's fine, really right? Because yeah. then or you don't have access. to potentially lose a click. That's right. And keep keep his money down. Be interesting to see if he goes after this. Another pad again. another DBS on here. Tim, a big fan of that card. Yeah, he's going to keep drawing and he's going to take one single credit. Be interesting to see if Rob trashes the pad. I think that'd be a right decision. Uh, it, it's he not very rich though. Much money either. Yeah, that's true. He does check R and D. No, DBS. he checks the DBS. Right. He checks the other ones. He's CBS. the cyberdex. He's trash it. it. He does. No, he leaves it. He trashes the pad though. Yeah, so he gets the desperado credits and then yes. he trashes the pad campaign. Yeah, seems fair. So he's continuing his war of economic denial. Yeah, he's also himself struggling a little bit for economy. He's got Desperado. Yeah. Um, you'd assume he might have security testing, that kind of thing. Seems reasonable. Um, um, I don't know in Ghost. Uh, I think you probably have four guys in those slots. Oh, it's yeah. Two, he'll, two he'll credits and a free card. Three, four guys for sure, I'd expect. Yeah. Be interesting to see what, if he has any other kind of more long term economy as well. I'm not sure. Okay, so um, Tim overdrawing is going to throw some stuff away. This is Jackson number three. So, Tim, so Tim's being forced one. to use these Jacksons early um, to stabilize, which is kind of a big victory for Rob yeah. in some ways, but the DBSs will do the, the drawing job later. Yeah, well, he's installing a lot of remotes and he's drawing a lot of cards, but he hasn't got any money, so he, he can't pay to do whatever these cards do, score agendas yeah. or whatever. Um, Rob immediately runs archives to force the Jackson use, uh, so you see at least a bill go back. But um, for, for any like more novice viewers watching, this is a perfect example of how you can use Jackson to kind of stabilise an early board position when you're in real trouble. Or indeed three Jacksons. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Uh, yes, there's nothing of interest in archives after Jackson, the third Jackson whisks away uh, three mystery cards. Could clone, be anything. Clone ship from Rob. Reckon clone he's going to clone ship that Crescentus. Yeah, and then use Crescentus. We but should probably mention, not on the pop-up window. We should mention the significance of... Tim uh, reading a card that he's probably never seen in his life. Yeah. Uh, we should mention, of course, um, the the viewers who don't know all the cards back to front, that Robbie's playing Geist. So all of these cards with trash abilities are relevant. The, the fact that you can use clone ships to install a Crescentus and then trash Crescentus to de something. You can uh, also draw two cards draw. from that. Give him a free draw. One from the clone ship, yeah. one from the Crescentus. That's right, Geist fires on both. Right, Tim scores out of breaking news. Uh, yes, yeah, so he's now on three points, so he's got the odd point. He's so, back on track. Yeah, he's got an Astro Counter, so uh, assuming he can make it to his turn yeah, with two credits, he can score a 3-2 should he draw one, I, I still, he have one. I still think maybe he should have put the shipment back through, but we'll see. Yep, yeah. um, I'd be tempted to um, install that wraparound on a remote as well, because it'd be interesting to... I mean, he, Rob may well have inside jobs, but it'd be interesting to at least challenge him to have a break of Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure Tim really wants to spend the money. Most Maybe not. most of the time I've seen Tim put something on a remote, it's a pop-up, and he'll install his Sansans behind it and force you to pay him an extra credit to check a Sansan, which you then either trash or don't trash. So, as expected, we get a whole slew of animations of overlays <laughs> because uh, Rob runs um, HQ, uses the clone chip, and the Crescentus to derez, eats to break, um, and draws twice, so, and then he some, runs HQ again. So some efficiency. For, yeah. an actual for an actual access, that's From it. Rob. Uh, now that Tim can't res um, and this is quite an interesting feature of this deck it's a bit of memory required you have to remember the res cost of everything you've de-res <laughs> so yeah. you can remember what he can and can't res um, but Rob, Rob's a very methodical player um, and he'll yep. he'll have that still stuff etched in his mind so Tim's going to sweep into a hedge fund very nice I'll yeah so finally out of the hole yeah. here and he can res the sand sand and score something probably he's got two on the table it turns out because uh, that first remote is also one yeah, Rob, Rob in a bit of trouble here. Only on three credits. Uh, Tim stabilised. And he's manually drawing as well. He's not going to yeah. score, guys. That's what you want. He's going to run HQ, force a res, which he does. And bounce. That's fair. He's going to throw a special order. He's got his, his one program, I guess. <laughs> and done the worst off, that's fair. It's a pop up. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get much from the Murtos here. You de res the trash DBS. pop up and then play it. Two credits. Yeah, you're, yeah you're not even going to get the DBS, are you? are just going to get the pop up. Uh, so actually okay. that's hilariously that's why when Brendan was running a Geist deck he was running Parasite to get rid of these cheap pieces of ice yeah, and, and then de yeah. something relevant yeah kind of inspired by Rob's deck I think Brendan was so Biotic to score a bill so he still has the Astro counter, counter no this money a, this is a real rough position for Rob he's got a breaking news in hand he does have no money but if he's got shipment from Sansan kicking around which he may have done he's, well he's not going to use it on a breaking news but if he's got a shipment no but if, yeah, see if, he yeah. draws, see if he draws an Astro or something yeah um, I, I mean, this breaking news is just going to stay in hand, right? I mean, Rob, Rob really struggling here. If he found a siphon, has he siphoned at all this game? No, I don't think he has. I um, mean, I, you don't want to keep the tags because then they'll get to res stuff by trashing Murtos. Yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, and Tim draws the deal here, it's so it's he just needs some money now. Yeah, if he he's got a money. shipment, he can win. I don't think he does. So he puts, so he, wow, he, he puts the, the bill, bill back. He keeps the pop up, so I think he's worried about economy. He might. Uh, he trashed the Enigma to his pop up. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. I mean, he just needs two credits hey, to win, right? Pop so, <laughs> pop up is an amazing piece of ice. I know Tim, th it's like his favourite card in the NBN set, I think. So, I think Rob now wants to find out what that is. Um, so, you feel like he's going to run it. It does mean that he can now just start leg working and stuff. Now, Siphon, three Siphon in every criminal deck, right? Yeah. But actually, if you're having Murtos, it's yeah, an you interesting have to decision. Clear the tags. But maybe you don't. Do you consider not playing Siphon? I know he's playing Denial, so you no, probably still do. I, but it's still one of the most annoying yeah. cards for the Cork in the game. Yeah, it's but I mean, such a powerful economy card. To be a, to be honest, you're also going to have three full guys, so you can always have them in play. Yeah, to protect, to protect your Murtos. Yeah, so you can do that. Still sees Biotic. Might be the same one, but it doesn't really matter because it's not useful uh, to Tim even. Uh, he does start breaking news in hand by the look of it. And Rob, Rob pulls it, it but, so yeah. Rob's got his odd point. So they're both. Uh, so Rob's doing his two more agendas, two more accesses. Yep. Um, you'd like to have some multi-access at this point. You want to start seeing makers or I honestly don't know whether Rob's got any. I can't remember his list. I mean, I guess he could run. Well, he he can't. I think he might have a keyhole. Ah, yeah, that'd be good. He because can't. You can't. You can't see the cards. Yeah, with he, the eater, he, so. he can't run R and D every turn. He's going to give Tim a credit every yeah. every run, right? So it's still two us on R and D. Now he's only got two credits. Be interesting to know what they are. 
Three, three pop-ups, presumably. Uh, three credits, yeah. It could be a pop-up into a quadruple or something. One of, yeah, one of, one of them might be a wraparound or something. Yeah, I don't yeah know. wraparound's probably a good chance. I mean, if the outside one's a pop-up, then you could, res, you could res an Enigma in the middle of those, those yeah. two Well, he's, he's got three credits, so he can yeah. res an Enigma now. Oh, okay. He could res Architects, maybe. That'd be a good one as well. Yeah. I mean, Rob has Eater, so he sh he's not going to worry about face-checking. Siphon. Okay. Finally go. get the Siphon. Here we go. He's drawing for it, and he's got it. Uh, he oh, is going to float tags. Though. Tim Tim checks to see if there's anything he can res to be annoying, and apparently the answer is he's not bothered. No, he gains credit for the pop up. You think he might? Four want credits to... is an awkward number for these kind of decks. You consider resing a CVS, but that's yeah. dumb. No, I don't know. <laughs> his DVS like, is dead. I so Rob, get the Rob gets four credits, but yeah. Tim can now if he really wants to. He doesn't need to. He could pay the money to trash a Murtos and res something. Yeah, but what's he going to res? Sun Sun. Well, no, I think you res this ice if it's relevant. If it's yes, cheaper to okay. res it, you just res it like that. But yep. So you see a crash base go down. Very good in Geist because of the trash icon again. Yeah. So he is now he's double tagged. So I mean, do you consider he's going to look at three cards? So if you're Tim, do you consider? As he gets confused, <laughs> he does look at three cards. Uh, do you consider taking two credits and trashing a Muertos? Well, it depends, it depends what you can res with it. I mean, yeah. you don't need a Sam Sam at this point. I mean, for all we know, it's um, got Janus and R&D. What do you reckon? Who wants to res that? Tim with a Janus. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. A, uh, I think it most likely it's... The best The best case scenario is if you've installed a Tollbooth, you yeah, can get a free Yeah, I was about to say, I think Tollbooth is going to be the most taxing um, thing in this deck. Otherwise, it's probably... An Architect is probably the next most expensive thing in the deck. So instead, he's going to credit sweeps and install an HQ. Now, don't forget that if he finishes a turn... Starts turn, I should say, with two credits, and he has a agenda in hand. He's won the game. Yeah, exactly. So, so Rob needs ah. So Rob trashes these mercs so to gonna, draw some cards. He's going to do it to draw. To res whatever the hell he wants. So, so he, he reses the sand He sand. does choose sand sand, so so that's not, an NAPD not the ice. score potentially. So does that give away that there's no good ice? Uh, he's going to he's going to use the other one. So let's see what he reses with the second free res. Eli, that's, Eli. that's not bad. Yeah, it's all right. Can't yeah, complain. It forces an easy use at least. Um, well, actually, you could click, of course. So and he plays an immediate use of full guy. Card, so he's getting Two some money. Card. Um, don't forget, the Muertos didn't require clicks to use. So, Sense and Siphon. Okay, so he's going to deal with the Eli, presumably, on the way in. Get ready for yeah. a whole slew of overlays flying past. <laughs> um, in fact, I didn't bother doing them because <laughs> there were so many. I just let it happen. <laughs> so he gets his card yeah, from okay. the guy's trash. Um, Tim reses the CVS to stop... <laughs> Because why not? I don't think there's any reason. Money. And he uses it, so there we go. <laughs> why not? <laughs> he knows there's going to be no use. He's just messing around at this point. Well, no, I mean, it stops Rob gaining five credits lots of, of doubled money from the siphon. Oh, yeah, no, resing it made sense, yeah. but he also used it. Oh, yeah, sure, <laughs> so, sure. Yeah. Um, thought he purged for a laugh. It's it's a breach, breach and a fairy, fairy, which doesn't work with Geist's ability, by the way. Um, fairy doesn't, though, that's true. And a, was that a security testing going in the bin as well? That would have been useful. Well, he's tagged, so. I think he's past that point. Yeah, he's still. Mind he's you, Tim, Tim's got no money. He's now got so. four tags as well, so. And you can install a security testing and see oh, if crush it. This is it, more sweeps, and Rob's got to be kicking himself. Oh, sweep, sweep, sweep is excellent. He to keeps trying to siphon him, him, him down below, yeah. too, and it's. You know, he's won now, though, right? If he hasn't any, he can install a credit advance. Right, so here comes the keyhole. Okay, so this this could change things. We've got the right. eater. Wrap around. That's got to yep, be the that's worst. That's the worst thing. That is the worst thing eater could hit. Yeah. To see. Uh, unless he's got an inti in his hand well, he's for just, some reason. He's just thrown away the breach. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to cost. Uh, what was it? Strength? Is eater strength three, I want to say? Eater strength two. So eater strength you, two. So five you, to boost one to rest. So six to get through. Yeah. And, and that, the that puts paid to it. Because he's drawing three at a time as well, so. Well, uh, that, that was quite. I mean, no, I don't know. I, even though he lost, I really like that Geist deck. No, it's I think really it's great. I mean, it's Brendan's really... been playing a sort of similarly themed one recently. It's not, it's not ideal against an NEH that has um, a lot of very cheap yeah. stuff going on. Pop, pop, pop up is a, a real big problem for those yeah. kind of decks. Having said that, two early Muertos very used to yeah. very good effect. Rodi Reza San San, that was a kick in the teeth, and uh, Architects as well, that was very nice. Yep. Um, so, um, that was without doubt an economic battle yeah as it Rob. really was Rob was very poor but he but he kept he was he floating kept, just yeah. enough to try yeah, and he kept him very poor yeah too. keep the crescentuses uh Eater is obviously an incredibly efficient breaker has other drawbacks but um it's very efficient. yeah like not like, seeing like any cards well, yeah <laughs> but yeah um it's, so it's, a, it's a good face checking theories. tool in criminal as well. If you've got some money, then you're never going to lose yeah. any progress. Yeah, and you don't, yeah, if you've got ET, you don't need fairy, it's, it's, right? Yeah, well, just... it's kind of a perpetual fairy in some yeah. ways. Yeah, you can use it as a kind of uh, safety valve. And it works against everything. 
code gates as well. There's some Trixie code gates out yeah, there. Yeah, well, almost everything. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't work Nothing. against some well, of the more popular well, Turing, cards like or Turing, indeed wraparound. Yeah, or wraparound. <laughs> yeah, as we saw in that game. Yeah. So um, now Tim, he was very poor, but he um, he kind of played out wide. He did resolve. He did tenaciously resolved his pad campaigns even though uh, Rob trashed Rob all of them. Trash them. Yeah, and he did cost, trash them all. It costs him more to trash them than it costs you to res them. There was a point uh, uh, there was a point at one point during that game where Tim before his turn started was having a quick look at all his cards because he was certain there was a pad but they're all in trash he's, he said to Rob <laughs> trash all my pads what are you doing? So um, yeah he, there was a real economic denial um, but um, maybe more so than other uh, factions NBN is, ve- is very good at scoring from very little money. Well, the thing is, you can astro chain from low money if you've got yeah. once you've got the first one out. You only if you've got a token, you only need two credits to score the yeah, next one. Or a shipment um, from Sunset. Which... There was no there was no uh, clot threat whatsoever. So no. yeah, it, it it was unlikely that there was going to be any uh, any kind of challenge there. Um, so there's going to be nothing to stop him. The CVSs were all trashed, but ultimately pointless. I uh, Rob, um, Rob probably trashing them either to see extra cards in R and D or. Uh, just to make sure if they if he did siphon them, there was yeah you think you pay credit to prevent a three credit loss and siphon maybe you're right six I guess. well I, I think that's part of the reason he was trashing yeah. as many it's assets it's an interesting was, decision yeah, but... yeah yeah um, and obviously if siphon it, it took him a long time to draw the siphon do you yeah. think that game might have gone differently if he had siphon earlier and he could really aggressively trash he, all he saw the Ito relatively early so yes it might have done um I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. obviously, Rob did very well with the deck on the day. You have to play he differently was... with Siphons when you got Mortos on the table as well. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah, you have to clear the tags. Yeah. It got to the point where it kind of transitioned, it transitioned into a it kind of a desperation, so he used them yeah, to so get the just tools. To see more and, cards, yeah, yeah, and he drew more Siphons, almost certainly from that. I mean, um, Rob, Rob did very well on the day with an unconventional deck. Uh, from... Yes, that's worth mentioning. It Th- this, is, third. this is the yeah. field of some of the best players in the UK. Yeah, um, that, this was that, a qualification and, and tournament <laughs> in terms of. <laughs> wow. No, I think it's All fair. Right, yeah. Th- there were thirty-two of the best players in the country there. That is true. Yeah, that is without doubt true. Yeah. I, um, so, for any anyone who wasn't in the UK that didn't know the format here, there are a bunch of qualification spots um, at tournaments around the UK. Uh, mostly two slots for a tournament. Yeah, that's right. Um, so we had basically some of the best and brightest of the UK netrunner scene come down to London for a. A real, real yeah. tough tournament. It was invite only, and it was, uh, yeah, he had to qualify to get the ticket. And there yeah. was a large last chance qualifier in Dark Sphere the day before. There was, yeah. So the, I think there were 14 qualifiers, two seats available at most. I think there were three at a couple. And there was yeah. just six seats available at the last chance on Saturday, the day before uh, the finals. Um, yeah, so it was a really good crowd and uh, obviously an impressive prize. And for that prize, we're going to see Alex White play Tim Fowler. Well. So we've been here before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, for those not in the know, this is this is actually a rematch of the 2015 UK Nationals final between these two, and under similar circumstances, uh, Alex White having a really good day in the Swiss, winning uh, all the way through the winners bracket to get to the final, having a lengthy break, and Tim, as he is wont to do, right? Tim also doing very well in the Swiss, yeah. of course, um, battling his way through the loser bracket though. It's very tough. In the, well, I mean, I've never even been in the well, loser bracket. It's very Tim, tough. Tim wasn't in the loser's bracket for very long, was he? No, he... he lost to Alex, presumably, that's true, in yeah. the upper bracket. And then... uh, that's true. And Nationals, yes, he did. He yeah. was in the winner's bracket final. Yes, yeah. so he, uh, semi-finals, he dropped and then was straight back in. And this, he was in the loser's bracket for a little bit more. Was he? he? Oh, okay. Yeah, he did fight his way through, yeah. Um, but the scenario is the same. So um, if Alex wins, then he wins. But Tim has to beat Alex twice to win the prize. So... In the next video, we'll see the first leg in that matchup, um, which was, check your notes, uh, uh, Tim playing Kate. So Tim will play Kate against, uh, now Alex is playing ETF on the day, which is quite interesting. Um, so so this, this is before Global Food Initiative was released. Yes, so I imagine definitely. he was running a sort of Rush HB deck, probably. Yeah, so we shall, we shall see anyway. Um, it's quite unusual um, on the day, I think. I think it's worth mentioning um, that to see two of the strongest tournaments in the UK composed of some of the strongest players hmm. to see the same two people in the final <laughs> suggests that about those players. well it certainly does but yeah. it also su- it suggests something about the game of Netrunner in that it's actually very very low variance there's no chances um, no I mean <laughs> so you can do well in a tournament but you have to be a really good player to yeah, be to consistently top, yeah. at the top yep. um, and there's, there's a huge amount of skill involved in this game yeah um, yeah I think you're right 
so uh, yeah, so in the, the next video we're going to see um, uh, Tim's uh, Tim's K against Alex's ETF, so that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, uh, so I will remind you of you that should you like to watch any more of our videos, you can find them at the website, neoreningrid.co.uk. You can also find us on Twitter and on Facebook by searching for Neo Grid. Um, and should you be so generous, you can support us on Patreon. All contributions go towards improving the videos, um, and I uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you, James, for helping me commentate this video. Thank you, Jonathan, for thank letting me. <laughs> thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.